don't play with me, don't play with me. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. And we're back on Box 29 News, where Beautiful News Report. We can box right on to a nation for my beat the fuck. Right out of you, niggas. I just want you to cheer Max in the back, packs it back, gaddies and cabrax and all the items. And... <laughs> First off, like I'm <laughs> for the wrinkle shirt, for the wrinkle shirt. <laughs> Y'all still watching boxing, NBC, and CBS, and all that bullshit. I'm trying to stop cussing, y'all. I'm going through. I'm going through like uh, AA meetings and rehabilitations and all types of stuff. However, I don't do this like I'm trying to do it because it's actually fun. If I'm what talking trash about the kids of the future, the stupid kids of the now, the stupid adults of the now, I love it. You feel me? However. Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking fucking news! We have Mr. Chad Weary. Shout out to Mr. Chad Weary. If you don't know by now who Mr. Chad Weary is, he is actually the man with his little behind ear. First of all, we get the ear from sir. Stop playing, you. However, this is also the man that was fighting on the market Frankfurt line. Hit that white man with that boom box ski. He didn't go back work ski onto the train track skis. You feel me? Part of my dyslexia as I get through this, it says Chad wearing 40. Latest Philadelphia police booking photo after was charged with involuntary manslaughter and death of 38-year-old man run over by a SEPTA subway train. Now, I'm not the smartest nigga in the world. I ain't never been to Harvard, Yale, Princeton, none of them institutions. You feel me? I don't got no law degrees or none of that good stuff. However, a public defender should be able to get you off in preliminary hearing. This should be a walk in the park. This should be a breeze. Oh, my God. The public defender should be going crazy. I was like, let me get that joint. Please let me get that joint. I'm going to cook this joint. I'm going to be the involuntary manslaughter and preliminary. Niggas should be begging for this case. Hot because we seen Goliath was bigger. David was smaller. David used his Brit name. He said, I'm going to sock you back to the trick name. You feel me? I don't believe this man should be arrested. However, sir, that was... I believe you strategically did that. You heard the train. You hit him with that boom box. You need to go back work ski. I believe you did it on purpose. So you need to sit for a little while for potentially throwing your life away. You 40, sir. You look 60, sir. Yeah, it looked like, yeah. yeah. And then y'all fighting over a lighter, sir. You potentially threw away the rest of your little crackhead life. For a lighter? So yeah, you need to sit there for like six months so you can think about it. However, I don't think you should go up Phoenixville, Smithfield, Camp Hill, Forest, Rockville, one of them recreational centers. However, you was also on the run for open strangulation charge. This is the shit I'm trying to get y'all to understand. I don't, maybe you do need to go take a little long ride. Come back when you're 65, about to die. Maybe that's what you need, nigga. Who knows? I don't think you should have been charged with this case. However, you do have an open case in Delaware County, and you know they don't not play up Delaware County. That's probably why he was on the run, because you know them niggas slapped the f right out of niggas. You strangling niggas up Delaware County, and then you killing niggas in Philly? Whoa, my God. Ha, ha, ha. You don't want to go home. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you can't have no family look at you. Now, looks can be deceiving. I could be wrong. If I'm, I told you, I'm not the smartest nigga in the world. You look like a crackhead. Then you might be a crackhead. I have no clue. However, I do have a video of this man, uh, Philly First 48, put it up. Let me show y'all. Hold on, y'all. And we have. Shout out to No Gun Zone for providing us with this. It wasn't Philly First 48, it was No Gun Zone, y'all. It's in you. Yo, Shizzy. What's up with you, man? You already know it's your boy ATM Fox. Yeah, I mean, what's going on, gang? In case I don't see you on that day, man, I just want to say happy birthday, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. How would you turn it? 40. 40? I'm saying I look older, but, you know, it's too stress. But it is what it is. I'm happy. I'm 
made it to another birthday. You know what I mean? And in the minute since I was on this show, shit got crazier. You know what I'm saying? It got crazier than this. Anything you. Streets don't care. Still stealing from you. All out this show. And people still doing shit behind niggas back like they don't know. Can you speak up for me? Niggas still, still doing shit down niggas back like they don't know, but it's all good because I can't get mad at people. You know what I'm saying? I only can make myself happy. Even if I'm out in a situation like this, you can still make yourself happy. Always make yourself happy. You need to make others happy. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I'm going at it. You know what I mean? And I still be punching on niggas and all that sometimes, sometimes. But I'm still, you know what I mean? Y'all heard it. I still be punched on niggas from time to time. He ain't learn. Um, Larry Crabbs, District Attorney of uh, Delaware County, please punch the f run out of this nigga since he learned to punch on niggas from time to time. And you punched on that white man. Now, now it's looking a little sketchy. You might be going to Phoenix Mill Smithfield Camp in the forest. You feel me? You're looking crazy now. Told you it was a calculated move. I knew it was calculated. However, that man still had you him to the wall. He must ain't know he had you him to the wall. He must ain't know you still be punching on niggas from time to time. So, I'm not the judge, the district attorney, or the jury. None of them niggas. However, cause oh, nigga, let us know what is wrong with your stupid 40 year old ass. <laughs> it's wrong. In other news, we had. The victim! <laughs> Yesterday, I reported on a home invasion where they tied up the 77 year old man and his 25 year old, this man right here. I don't know why they would want to speak out. However, they wanted to speak out. Part of my dyslexia, I can do this victim speaks after being zip tied at gunpoint during a home invasion. Let me let y'all hear what he got to say. Oh, boy, let me get over here. No, I don't have to see that. Nope, we already seen that. We I read that yesterday. I'm going to keep reading the same stuff to you all. You feel me? And to you. Terrifying home invasion in the middle of the day. A young man and his grandfather tied up at gunpoint, threatened and robbed. Our Steve Keeley spoke with the victims. What would you expect like a home invasion? Daylight, uh, daylight time, whatever. And that's why Nathan answered the knock at the family door at 1030 this morning on West Olney Avenue. And what he thought was probably a neighbor, he soon found out were three armed home invaders who quickly zip tied him and his 77 year old grandfather and covered their faces. It kind of like. Well, they did a better job than y'all. Y'all didn't even cover their faces. I just seen him and his grandpa. So shout out to the brothers. Them niggas covered their face more than y'all. And these niggas wanted to had the audacity to want to come and show their face. Oh my, shout out to my sister coming up. Hey. Yeah, I, I don't know why they would ever think it was a smart idea to come on national television. Show your face that the robbers did you such a justice and covered your face. And you say, hey, this, I'm the one you robbed, sir. Bring me my stuff back, please. You, that was not very nice. You lucky you ain't smoke, you stupid ass. You getting on you out here complaining. Nigga, you better count your blessings. People don't never count their blessings. You could be talking to Jesus today, nigga. <laughs> or Buddha or whoever you pray to, nigga. I'm just saying. You could be talking to that guy. You on here talking to the news. Them niggas will come back and slap the f right out of your stupid ass. But answer you. Grab me and like put me on the stairs and like zip tie uh my arms and my legs while trying to like, you know, they put my grandfather at gunpoint, uh, me as well. And after that, they uh, put a blanket over my head so I couldn't see anything. Did they threaten to kill you or shoot you? Uh, they didn't, they threatened to hurt me, but they didn't threaten to shoot me at least. They did have guns though, so I was just gonna assume the worst. They put a gun? Stop fucking playing. Y'all zip tied this man and put a gun to this man. This is the treacherous, trifling, maniacal, diabolical shit that goes on in Philadelphia. 
Y'all could have did the robbery while he laid right there. Y'all gonna tie him up? That nigga couldn't do nothing if he wanted to. I bet, oh, hey, chill out. And you, yeah, you supposed to do what uh, the white boy was doing to my man, Chaz. Oh, hey, you better not say nothing. I wish, stop, stop playing, oh, hey. Y'all niggas gonna put the zip ties on OG? Y'all deserve to boot the ass expeditiously. And to you. Chest. Nathan's grandfather says they zip tied his hands as they put the barrel of a gun to his chest. I got your money. I got, I got no money. The family does not own a business, no store, no restaurant they could be fouled from, and no one in the home had used a bank recently to be fouled from either. And Nathan says somehow the home invaders knew to go right up the stairs to the room with the safe inside. And they somehow knew about it and got the key to unlock it. Nathan brought down the safe as the family got rid of it while we were there, fearing it may draw another potential robbery. How do you think they knew that you had a safe with money inside? That's what me and my family were trying to figure out. We were just like debating in our heads, like, how would they know, like, there was like money in like safe the family immediately got a neighbor's surveillance of the white van that the home invaders used gave it to police and then got help from another friend installing new security cameras and alarms nervously thinking what worse could have happened during this robbery and nigga sound like back dorian <laughs> sound like sound like an inside job I ain't no crime stopper, crime detective. I am a crime stopper. Why would I just lie? I am a crime stopper. So, nigga, you know. Let us know who did it, nigga. So we can get them slapped the f Right out of there. You feel me? Give them boot the ass of Phoenixville, Smithville, Capital Forest, Rockview. One of them recreational centers, when they get there, they're going to get there for a couple days. It's wrong. In other news, we at Mr. Jalen Mickey. I hope they show us a picture of Mr. Jalen Mickens. Mr. Jalen Mickens was sentenced to 22 to 45 or some years. 22 and a half to 45 or something. They're going to tell you all the extensive, exclusive details. I promise you. However, shout out to the Philadelphia Police Department, the detectives of the homicide groups, all the district attorneys, the judges, and the juries are slapping the f right out of these stupid ass kids giving the boot the ass of Phoenixville, Smithville, Campbell, Forest, Rockview. One of them recreational centers. I'm so grateful for y'all. Oh, y'all doing a great job. However, part of my dyslexia as I get through this, it says a Philadelphia man was sentenced for his involvement in multiple shootings, including one at a holiday block party that left two people dead in 2021. Jalen Mickens, who was a part of a violent O to the 4. O to the 4! Oh, oh, oh. O to the 4, they said y'all going to the jail. That's what they said. They said O to the 4 is going to the jail. And FSB. I don't really know what FSB stands for. However, I will figure it out. Gangs operating mainly in West Philly was convicted last October for his role in a series of shootings, according to the district attorney's office. Police said one of the shootings took place on July 4, 2021 during a cookout where Mickens and others fired more than 100 gunshots into a crowd where they believe rival gang members were hanging out. Instead, they killed beloved West Philadelphia businessmen and community members, 23-year-old Sakar Johnson Jr. and 21-year-old Saladin Muhammad. Mahmoud. I hope, hope I said your name right. If I didn't, I apologize. It's not, you feel me? I have dyslexia. I can really... Woo! And to you, I ain't reading all that. Shout out to the district attorney and the whoever I just shouted out. You feel me? Because I know the uh, family of uh, Sakar Johnson Jr., and because I believe that was the one with the uh, clothing line, I know they so happy. I'd have been up there, uh, clapping. I'd have shouting, but thank you, Lord. I'd have been saying hello, wag boy. I'd have been saying all types of stuff. You feel me? It wouldn't be no way you wouldn't feel me. Would, what? Soon as they say yes, yeah, since the twenty, I'm like yes. And I'd be looking at him in the face like this. Oh, just stupid ass. However, I'm going to send it over to my sister company. Take it away. Continue. Member in Philadelphia involved in three shootings in Philadelphia, including one at a holiday block party that left two people dead. Since his arrest, authorities say gang activity in the community slowly eroded and crime actually dropped. NBC Times' Miguel martinez Vi was in court for today's sentencing and joins us live from the courthouse with more this afternoon. Miguel. 
for today's sentencing and joins us live from the courthouse with more this afternoon. Miguel. Hold on, Miguel. This is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand if y'all didn't understand. She said crime has eroded since one man, Jalen Mickens. Oh, my God. He was a gang leader. You want just a jealous stuff and start moving. Push you a gang leader. Okay. We are doing such a good job. And you, Mr. Mickens, are doing such a great job of embarrassing your family. You're already done. Your mom probably like, damn. So now, now every, for the next at least 20-something Thanksgivings, Christmas, they're going to be like, mm -mm. how Jalen doing? He all right? How Jalen doing? He all right? Ain't nobody going to never see you a motherfucking thing. They're going to say, how Jalen doing? He all right? Yeah, Jalen, tell her, call us, niggas. Let us know how you do it. And to you. Yeah, Jackie, today a judge inside of the Criminal Justice Center uh, sentenced uh, Jalen Mickens to 22 and a half years in prison at least. Now, this for his role in the 2021 July 4th block party shooting that killed two young entrepreneurs in West Philly, uh, two beloved community members. Uh, meanwhile, the district attorney saying Mickens was a part of a gang war that really uh, terrorized the community, but telling us today that the two gangs involved no longer exist. Shout out to... The judge who slapped him with the 22 years. I just got to say that because I don't think they know how long 22 years. We in TikTok time. 22 years is not 22 years like in Wallow time. Mm -mm. 22 years in today's time is actually 62 years. I promise you. When you come out in 22 years from now, when there's an iPhone 37 out, and that motherfucker doing backflips and walking the dog and all types of supercomputer stuff. That's what I want you to understand, nigga. You gave all this up to be an old to the 40, and then you got to go to the jail. Continue. 22 and a half to 50 years in prison. That was the sentence for Jalen Mickens, who pled guilty last October for his role in three gang-related shootings in West Philly on the 4th of July, 2021. In Philadelphia. Wait, let me cut you off real quick. That's what he pled guilty to, y'all. They had enough evidence, and when... They shot that block party. It was only, it was just a bunch of young niggas hopped out of the car. Pew, 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 pew. Shout out to the detective work. You feel me? I would have never caught them niggas. Them niggas would have been off with the, in, the, in the wind. That's all they would have been. Going in the wind. I'm like, damn. However, these young boys didn't rap about it. They didn't probably been in a DM about it. They don't know that this is actually... Facebook and Instagram was actually the FBI's database. You feel me? However, continue. There is a right to have a barbecue, to have a block party, regardless of what neighborhood you live in. In court today, loved ones of fashion designer and business owner Sikar Johnson Jr. and Salah Haldeen Mahmoud. Both men died when more than 100 gunshots were fired into a crowd. The DA's office saying they weren't the target and had no ties to the ongoing gang war that led to the shooting. I don't know what it was about. I know it wasn't about him. They don't have no beef. We spoke to Sakar Johnson Sr. back in 2021, hours after he witnessed his son's death. While he didn't want to talk on camera after today's sentencing, in court, Mr. Johnson spoke directly to Mickens, saying, quote, Hold on. I got you since you don't want to talk on camera. I got us, nigga. I got us. To Mr. Jalen Mickens, the one who shot and killed uh, uh, Mr. Shakar Johnson Jr. and Mr. Saladin Mahmoud, I heard it. I heard him say it co correctly, allegedly, because he was white. Who knows? I got us. Fuck you, nigga. I hope you burning that bitch. I hope you rot. I hope nobody sends you a dollar, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? I hope all your family out here die, yeah. And you just sit here all alone, and you do that whole 24, and in that 22 and a half, everybody you know dies, nigga. So when you come out, you can cry like I cried when my son died. You feel me? I think I, I, think I summed it up for you, nigga. Continue. Every day, you're going to think about it like I do, saying the same thing. I wish I didn't do it. This sentencing is a tribute to the value of forensics. It is a tribute to the value. I told y'all before Larry Crazy started talking, me and me and the pops are the same thing almost. Yeah, we said the same thing. Continue.
value of deep dive investigations. DA Larry Krasner saying today's sentencing, along with the arrest of multiple members of the groups known as O2-4 and FSB, have led to a 24% reduction in shootings in the 18th district and a 19% reduction in the 19th. He said the teamwork between police and his gun violence task force have put an end to these two gangs in the area. O to the four go. No, no, no. They didn't put an end to it. They just high. And the real shooters, the uh, gorillas, drillers, drug dealers, stepper, stumbles, movers, and pushes, them niggas is in jail or dead. So now we're getting closer to all the kids that want to be kids. That want to, oh, I could probably make it to the NBA. Oh, I could probably write a book. Oh, I could probably. Learn some math. Them kids that want to actually learn something and probably do something for the rest of their life, we're getting more of them. We're getting less of the killers, gorillas, drug dealers, stop us, stop us, moves, and push on. So shout out to Larry Krasner for dismantling O to the four and FSB as much as possible to the day. I can't wait till you break their spirit because um, – you still got CCK to worry about. You still got all them other young ladies. It's a bunch of niggas still got to worry about. However, I do commend you for slapping the f right out of his stupid ass, getting boot ass and feet to the Smithfield Camp Hill Forest, rock you. One of them recreational sinners, and when they get there, he probably going to call us in a couple weeks like this. <laughs> hey, this is a blast. This is a blast. Yeah, show me in 10 more years, though. However, if y'all don't know who Larry Crasher is, there he goes. The guy I'm always speaking on, Larry Crasher slapped the f Right out of these niggas. There he is, right there. And to you, Larry, let him see your face. O to the jail. Well, O to the four went to the jail. Um, o to the four is no more. <laughs> this is my fucking nigga. I literally just said O to the four. I said again, O to the four went to the jail. That's my dog. If anybody got a problem with Larry, you come see me. Because that's my dog. And to you. And we know that a second defendant in this case still has to go to trial. I'm Miguel Martinez Valle, NBC 10 News. Well, the second defendant is stupid, dumb, retarded. In the His manager took a deal. That means, bro, I told. I let him know everything y'all saying is true about me. So it got to be true about you. You feel me? Because we was together and they already know that. They already showed me papers. I'm telling y'all, this how the game go. So, kids, please, you're not making them to show you. making them to show you probably. O to the four, you're going to go to the jail. You feel me? CCK, you're going to go away. You feel me? Because this is the type of show that these people make it to. This is not the show you want to make it to. This is the worst show in the world. Because this is box in our news. Where we don't like news report. We box. Right on to our next. You feel my beat the fuck? Right out of this. Fuck is wrong with you? Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me.